So this is well, what I'll need tomorrow, the autopilot and my harness, then rain clothes, normal clothes and my pillow and a blanket because it gets a bit cold at night. Then this is my bag with all the tools that I usually need, like what I found out throughout the last two years for, you know, my engine or fixing whatever has to be fixed. And it's like attached to this old string so I can't pull up. And then here, this is just next to when I come down the stairs so I don't really have to walk around very much, is a lot of fast food. And my Iridium phone because I have to send a position update to my parents every 8 hours and I usually call them every 24 hours so they know where I am. Uh, okay. We are at uh, Eden Rock on Grand Cayman Island and Davida, he's a dive instructor so he's gonna take Jeff and me for a little dive today. And I really wanna see some Christmas tree worms. The Spirong. So I hope we're gonna see some of those. That would be really exciting. Let's see. What are they called? The Christmas tree worms? Spirografo. Spirografo. That's the one we want to see. That's the one. Exactly. Are you gonna show us some? I will. Zoli, Zoli might be a sleeper. It's too cold. Let's go back. No, it's not cold. <laughs> Feeling like granny. intense colors like green and red and pink and purple and whatnot it was really crazy and I did see my spirografo a couple actually they're really cool and um, yeah it's basically the cards are really amazing the fish here is not like really overwhelming but just for the color and the formation of the different cards it's really totally worth the dive well that's about it um I think everything is prepared now. I feel 
anxious as usual. It's always... I'm actually quite glad before departure when things come up and they're not working because then I can postpone my departure. So, and then I went to clear out at customs. And there's always this moment where, you know where they go, like, they, they take your paperwork and then they look at it and then they go like, so it's just yourself on the boat? And usually they ask that, like, looking up at me with one raised eyebrow and going like, you sure? And I'm like, yeah, just me, myself, and I. And, you know, just kind of like thinking, is this really a good idea? Should I really be doing this? And then you just see the, the stamp going down on your paperwork and it's like, well... I guess that decision is taken. And then I know it's going to be hard tomorrow morning. I'm going to be like, Whoa. But then I hope also that once I'm out, because usually it's like once I'm out, the first three, four hours are really beautiful. And I feel strong and on top of my shit. And, you know, as long as there's like no major things happening. But still, it's, that's usually, I think those are really enjoyable hours, like just heading out. Because it's nice to see that actually that anxiety that I feel just before leaving, it disappears in that moment. And I have the feeling, you know, that I'm one with my boat and I know more or less what I'm doing. And it gives me like confidence that I'm going to arrive where I want to arrive. When I was anchored in Cuba in Cienfuegos, a boat um, had dragged onto Carl in the storm and damaged my roll of furler. I had managed to use it for the passage over from Cuba to Cayman, but it did get stuck every once in a while. And Jeff helped me to remove the old fella and to put the new one on because you have to be a little bit careful with all the little uh, ball bearings inside not to lose them, so it's good to be two on this job. It's a really old furlix that they don't actually sell parts anymore for. But it was really cool because some of my followers had actually found some of the used parts on sale and I could order some of them and send them over to Cayman. Thanks so much for that, peeps. That screw that is holding that little plate that sits inside the impeller um, was leaking and when I took it apart I figured out that the thread had been eaten away a little bit so I had to deepen the hole where the screw sits in so the, the damaged part of the screw would actually look out inside where the plate is and then I had to sand down that screw so it would be smooth again and then reseal it with uh, some sealant. gonna be a hard goodbye. I've been in Cayman now for nearly three weeks and I've met really beautiful people and I had the luck of being on a private dock for about 10 days. I've been staying at the house of my friends uh, Jeff and Kim. They took me in like a like a stray dog. I think I looked a little bit run down after um, Cuba and the sailing over here and but they just opened up their their door to me, and they offered me their their um, they offered me their guest room, and so I had a place to stay, a really beautiful place to stay with beautiful people, and I could laundry my clothes. There was a full fridge. They took me out for dinner. They had a pool, and you know I can Jeff helped me fix the boat, and they took me around to see the island, and I was just really it was just nice because I was kind of like living with them for the time. You know I was. Um, I, was, I would clean up the kitchen and stuff and help wherever I could and I was like kind of like part of the family and that's always, it's always beautiful when that happens when you travel because yeah, it's you know similar like I said when I was in Guatemala, it just gives you a certain form of stability or like a like a day to day routine and it's nice, it makes it hard to leave but uh, <laughs> you know 
got to finish the circle. It's a pretty big step going back to Panama. Not as big as sailing like four to five weeks across the Pacific soon, but don't want to talk about that yet. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Wind should be light. Sea state is really low. I just hope there's not going to be too many squalls.